Hey, this is King and David and Goliath Music, bclass.com. This is today's Daily Dose. I want to talk a little bit about the origins of David and Goliath Music and then the origins of beatclass.com. All right, David and Goliath Music started in 1993. Okay, at that point, uh, I just left the Marine Corps as a Marine Corps musician, songwriter. I was an artist and arranger and conductor for the band. I left, brought all my stuff to New York City. I rented an office. I had my partner, Tiny, who was a member of Brick City, um, which was connected to LaVeba and Teddy Riley and Mark Middleton, uh, Black Street. And so we basically busted our butts, right? And we wrote music every single day. Um, we just grinded. We had uh, little minimum wage jobs and bam one day we got a call and uh, LaVeba and Mark Middleton and the management over at um, Motown wanted to hear some of our stuff so they came through heard some of our tracks uh, we got signed to a deal um, Tiny got became part of Brick City you can go ahead and Google Brick City B-R-I-K-C-I-T-I his name is Arthur Holloway, and that's what did it. All right, got signed. Now I got shortly after that, I got uh, into the second deal with uh, Palace Records, a group group called Flirt. Shout out to Ollie Wells, Money Earning Mount Vernon. Um, the record uh, label was called Palace Records. We had um, the Keiko um, was the owner of that. You had they had the Bushwhackers on that record label. We had a whole lot of um, Kusha Conflict uh, was on that record label. Got signed, uh, worked with Flirt, and produced a song called Running Away. And then flat, fast forward to 96, uh, came to Atlanta. All right. Took a break from music completely and focused on, you know, family and education. And came back to the table at about 2000. And that's when I started doing production. Opened a stu recording studio in Atlanta, Georgia. Started working with artists, writing for different artists. Did albums, did um, all kinds of work. Uh, met a lot of people in Atlanta. Worked in a lot of studios in Atlanta. Um, then I fast forwarded and began the internet work in 2004. All right. Um, let go of everything I was doing and gave my all my energies in 2004 to the music almost to the point where I had nothing like I was living in my car no doubt this is real true story but I believed in what I was doing uh, I, I believed in the product that I had number one I knew that there was a market for it I knew that uh, that I would be doing what I'm doing now I just knew it and so I never doubted even though things seemed pretty risky all right. And you're talking about a grown man who takes care of his children and so forth. So I'm not a guy who just forgot about my priorities, but I took a gamble and, you know, boom, here I am. I'm going to play for you today a portion of one of the first tutorials I did. Um, you know, I gave birth to Crunk Beats. Um, I re really helped, I think, revolutionize the whole tutorial production game. And um, then we got a lot of imitators that came in. I had a, I had a group uh, called uh, Beat Wars. <laughs> it was called Beat Wars, and you're gonna hear this on this video. Um, and and that was like a a weekly get together where we got together, and it was supposed to be like a battle thing, but really it was just people getting together, helping each other, giving out advice. And so I used to join forums and give out advice if people asked me, and um, that kind of gave birth to what. I'm permanently doing right now. A lot of people got pissed at me because <laughs> they were trying to imitate me and they didn't want me in their forums, you know, steering their users away from them. And so they got pretty pissed off and some people still are pissed off. And I like I like when people are pissed off at me because the truth is, if they don't hate you, you're not really doing your job. You know, if they love you, that's when you need to be careful because they're getting ready to stab you in the back. All right. So with all that being said, um, fast forward here it is 2010 and we've got hundreds of products all of our users are paying users we don't have I don't we don't beg you for donations to keep our site alive um, 
all of our tutorial, all the people that purchase from us around the world are actual enthusiasts and real, uh, real people who really want to make it in this music business. We have some hobbyists too, but we've got all, you know, every day, all day, real paying customers who understand that they have to invest in themselves in order to get anywhere. I, I invested in myself even when it, the dark, when it was in the darkest moments. I was investing in myself and so I encourage you to continue to do that it's a, it's good to get things for free at the same time the system of life is that you invest in the direction that you want to go sometimes it's money sometimes it's time it's not always money sometimes it's time there's been people and uh, you can test me on this there's people who said look um, I can't I can't do this or I can't afford this but I can do this and if you do that, I'll, you know, hook me up with a tutorial. I'll help you hook you up here. I've done those deals. I'm, I can't say I'll do that all the time. But, yes, I've done those deals. And I've been done business on that level myself where I've uh, helped people with my time and talent. So investing is not always a financial investment, but you have to invest some energy. You will not make it anywhere in life without investing energy in the direction that you want to go. Anybody who argues with that, you're... I feel sad for you. Okay, so there we go. Um, I'm gonna let you listen to a piece of this. This has been a long-winded rant of mine, and but I thought it was necessary. Um, you can actually pull this, pick up this tutorial at the website. Um, it's really inexpensive. It's nine ninety-nine for this tutorial. It's how to make snare snap. And if you haven't gotten it already, all right. Listen to the production. This was years back, but listen to the production on on the track in the beginning. I I one love feast. This is King David, David Glass Music, and we're gonna talk a little bit about how to make your snares snap. It's very important in all different styles of music to bring out and access the right frequency that make your snare stand out in a mix. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you uh through a simple step by step process to make your snare stand out. It doesn't really matter what kind of music you're making. Um, I'm using one of my tracks that I made. It's called the Beat Wars Anthem and we use it in our Beat Wars. And you can listen to the track and then listen to the snares as well. And we're going to break down one step at a time how we made the snare stand out. So here is the track, King David, David and Goliath music piece. Hey, yo. I know it's time for the beat wars to begin. This is your man King David, David and Goliath music. Let's get it on. Alright, 